Perhaps tragedy comes a special bond that spans continents and will be on display at Sunday's New York City Marathon. It center, centers around Alan Nybreff. He's one of the 98 people who died in the collapse. CBS Saturday Morning co-host Dana Jacobson introduces us to Alan's sister and the unexpected friendship that is helping her through her grief. He really appreciated life. He was a loyal person. So much so that the 21-year-old was staying in Surfside, Florida, a Miami suburb, back on June 24th so that he could attend the funeral of a friend's father. At around 1.30 that morning, the unthinkable happened. The Champlain Towers South Condo in Surfside collapsed, leaving 98 people dead. In the painstaking days that followed, Mika met Amnon Leibowitz, a member of an Israeli Defense Forces team that traveled to Florida to help with what at the time was a rescue mission. I just remember his smile. <laughs> I think we kind of just clicked. Is it normal that there are people that you find that you just connect with like that? I think this is the first time in my professional life that I'm talking with a family. I never wow. talked with a family. We try to totally make a, like a wall between the rescuer and the families because you can't concentrate and be focused on your work right. when you have an emotional thing. But Mika is different. <laughs> it's like a family. I remember saying hi to him and you gave me a hug. And I, I knew based on that hug that they had found him. I didn't have proof, but I just knew. Yeah. And then a couple hours later, we got the call. It was the bond that you already had. Yeah. Mika and Amnon have built upon that bond with regular calls and a pact to run the New York City Marathon as a tribute to Elon. The night that they found Elon, I told him Elon was supposed to run with me. My family was all supposed to be there. All is a hard word for me now. Did you know right away that you wanted to run with her? When she told me that Elon promised her uh, to run this marathon and I said, I will run with you, I don't think I really think about it. They've been training together, Mika from Chicago and Amnon from Israel, exchanging their stats and keeping each other accountable. What does it mean to have somebody who also seems to genuinely love you and care for you? and cared for your brother even though he never met him. I don't think I could have done it without him. Sorry. It's okay. It just means the world. On Sunday, Mika will wear shoelaces from a pair of running shoes her brother gave her so she can keep him close. Last month, CBS4 presented an hour-long documentary called Bonded by Tragedy, 30 Days in Surfside. Jim DeFeedy told an incredibly powerful story of what unfolded in the room where family members were briefed daily on the search for their loved ones. You can watch that hour-long documentary on our website, cbsmiami.com slash surfsidecollapse.